So um, when I decided, I think it was a, um, I, I said it yesterday as well, it was a it was a mind shift change for me. I actually, I was working in the role for about seven years and I said to myself, I sat down one day with my boss and I said to them, what more can I do for you in terms of, of helping you succeed? Um, I'd obviously been to a few conferences, I've heard a few people speak and the term of strategic partnership really started flourishing about seven or eight years ago. And I, I went back and I said, how exactly can I help you? And my, the manager then said, well, there isn't really much I need your help with. As long as you can do my diary and you can make sure that I'm at meetings on time and um, you can book my travel, you're doing, you're doing about enough. And that was a big thing for me. And I went, okay, you know what? The next thing for me to do is to find someone who will value what I can do for them. And I didn't immediately resign. I worked there for a couple of months and I got a call one day asking me to to um, interview for a position and I went for the position. And as I said yesterday in my training, I also said what I did was I did a chemistry session with the exec and I said to them, this is what I want to do. I don't just want to be an assistant. I want to be someone who assists you in getting the business off the ground. We were a startup with four people. We've, we're in year five now. We've got 186 staff and I've helped recruit every single staff member. But what I did was I said to them, what can I take off your plate to allow you to make this business great? Mm -hmm. And um, they then said to me, well, these are the things that I, that I need your help on. Can you do it? And I took it on and I ran with it. I only went back when I hit a stumbling block and I didn't go back because I needed their help. And I went back because I needed their thoughts. What would you have done if I didn't ask them to intervene? I said, what would you have done if this was you and they gave me the answer, I went back, I sat, I thought about it and then I did it in my own way. Um, so yeah, um, that's me. <laughs> that was how I decided to, to move from just being an assistant to being a strategic assistant because I wanted to give, I wanted to add more value. I want to do for myself and for the business. I want to show people that I'm more than just someone who takes minutes. First of all, I'm not female. Let's just get that out there. I don't just, I just don't, I just don't make tea. I don't do typing. I actually hate typing. And we all hate typing. I can actually, I can actually, do, a can actually do a lot more than just sit outside and look pretty. <laughs> you look you look very pretty, shall we? Thank you. Thank you. Amanda, and, and again with that mindset shift, how did you um, make that change? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of a different journey for me than you, Sherwin. Uh, you had a bit of go to you and you saw that you could, you, you saw what path to take. For me, I, I very much wanted more, more than anything. Uh, I really wanted to be able to be more fulfilled in my role and provide more and do more, but I just didn't really have the confidence or the, the know-how. So I stayed stuck for a long time, well and truly longer than I would love to say that I was. Um, the truth of it was that I was stuck. And to be honest, the only thing that moved me out of that was having a phenomenal mentor uh, very uh, early in my last role. And that was when the, the cog started to shift for me uh, around how I show up in my role and what difference I can actually start to make. So that was sort of the start. And all you need is that like that fire to start burning for the, ins the, the for you to start seeing that you can provide more, do more. Uh, it's that first side of inspiration, but at the perfect time where you need it and you're ready. And that was certainly what it was. It was a perfect storm for me. And that just, and then I just went from there. So I started to do everything uh, to, to better myself, to better my skills, to go above and beyond. And the shift to business partner sort of came about after, I would say about two years after working there, where it was collectively seen that what I was doing was very different uh, to what you would call a traditional assistant. In fact, all of us there. So we had a team of uh, three assistants and we were not at all traditional at that point. We were very much involved in all the big decisions in the business and we would be able to speak on their behalf. And at that point, it was more of a collaborative discussion. This was when, I, when we created Business Partner in that team, it was there, I had not experienced the term business partner before. Now, it's not to say that it wasn't out there. I'm sure it was for sure, in fact, and that probably was unconsciously in our background. Uh, but when we created it, it was a matter of me and the assistants 
and the rest of us, the the rest of the executive team, we actually collectively collaborate collaborated around what do we want this function to be? Uh, how do we want to relate to this function? Because assistant doesn't do it justice for what it is. And not to say that assistant isn't doing anything justice because the name assistant is incredibly valuable. But what we noticed in the market was that there is a view, a perception of what assistant means. And when we, because I was working for a firm where we had to go to clients, the minute we would speak to a client, their perception hadn't shifted. Of course, everyone within the business knew what we did and how we could provide value. But in the in the world out there, people still had a perception of what the role was. So that was kind of the collaborate the collaborative mindset of sh changing the name. And I tell you, the minute we did, there actually is a shift that occurs. Certainly, it did for me where you uh, have a little bit more certainty that what you're doing uh, provides a greater value. Now, I know now that uh, I could have done that anyway without the, na without the name change. And the name change doesn't really mean anything in the scheme of things. And it's about you keep showing up and doing what you say you're going to do.